can you claim to be against anti-Semitism when you do nothing about your anti-Semitic Congress people that claim that, you know, Jewish people are uh, causing forest fires with Jewish space lasers or when Nazis march around the nation and nothing happens to them but being protected by the cops? Um, how can you claim to be against anti-Semitism when you support Zionism, which is some of the most anti-Semitic uh, beliefs out there, along with, like, Nazism, because Zionists hate uh, Jewish people that aren't Zionists, just like how Nazis hate white people that aren't Nazis. Harvard President Claudine Gay is getting a show of major support from the university, its faculty, and alumni following backlash after her testimony last week over rising anti-Semitism on campus. Just this morning, Harvard's governing board announced that Gay would stay on as president and not be removed from her post. Members of the board, known as the it's funny how nobody tried to get people removed for the rise of uh, Islamophobia around the nation. Why is it like anti-Semitism the thing to be cared about when in reality, you know, our government has never cared about uh, people being anti-Semitic as we got tons of anti-Semitic people in Congress and other positions of power uh, like Donald Trump, you had Stephen Miller. You got Marjorie Taylor Greene, who are all anti-Semitic and was supported by the government. It is uh, pretty crazy how these people claim to be against anti-Semitism. Uh, you also can't forget how the government bought Nazis uh, from Germany after World War II in Operation Paperclip and hit a bunch of Nazis in the United States. Uh, the, our government isn't against anti-Semitism. They're only against it when it's uh, the Israeli government because a bunch of them are Zionists, uh, Christian Zionists, and they only care about the Israeli government so that they can fill, fulfill biblical prophecy and watch all the Jewish people die. Harvard Corporation met yesterday and deliberated through the night on President Gay's future. More than a third of Harvard faculty members, about 700 people, signed a petition urging administrators to resist calls to remove Gay from office. Yesterday, the Harvard Alumni Association also came out in support 